Hi everyone, I'm Faye from FNS Resellers and together with my husband Simon, we sell full time on eBay and Amazon. I am showing you in a second what sold since Friday. So today is Monday. Uh, it's just gone half past five in the afternoon. It's bank holiday Monday. So we've had a longer weekend. Sales have improved. I have de we've definitely noticed um, an improvement. We're really happy. Um, we have 29 things going out. Um, obviously, I'd want it to be more. It has been more in the past. It's just been a very funny summer. Uh, this is a total of £530. Uh, there's a mixture of like new stuff, uh, clearance stuff, and yeah, just just we're really pleased. Um, we spent, I have listed this weekend, we spent some of the weekend listing, we haven't sourced at all. Um, but we also spent time yesterday going through a load of stock, because we were very organised in storing our listed stock. And we went through a load of it and um, we're pulling it out um, because we want to send it to auction. So actually, so I'm, what we've been doing over time is adding to our custom SKU the word old. And then Simon filtered that list yesterday on eBay and printed out a report so we could pick out everything that was on that report and put it in a separate box because that's what's going to auction. And during that process we also came across other things that we're like nah let's get rid of that let's get rid of that so that's going to auction as well so we've actually got four big tubs now full of items that got um put on a 99p auction yesterday about 8 30 in the evening and they'll end on sunday at 8 30 so fingers crossed i think we've got three things with bids um which is great for less than 24 hours but i think it's 150 items so let's hope that a lot of them go that would give us a lot of space and money back to source with and yeah getting ready for quarter four um so i will show you in a sec what we've got um i had so i listed a bit yesterday one item has already sold that i listed and i've sort of been i've been listing today but i actually haven't sent them live yet because uh, i've still got to add some measurements and we are going away tomorrow we're having four days away or three days away in Norfolk taking the dogs with us so we've put our shop on four day dispatch and then we'll reduce it by a day while we're away each day so it gets back to normal by the end of the week um, so that's excellent and um, what else is there to tell you not much I'm sure I think of stuff as I go so I'm going to do oh, I don't know whether I should do the breakables first um, no, I won't. I'll show you some Rohan trousers. Woohoo! Uh, sold three pairs um, this weekend. All the same. So we sold. They're all Rohan women's dry essential trousers, medium in navy. And someone bought two pairs. Uh, so there was a multi buy discount on there. So they got two pairs for twenty nine pound. Oh, sorry, twenty six pound ninety eight. They cost two pound sixty two a pair. So really pleased with that. And then someone else bought a pair for $14.99. So that's good, that's three down, gone. And uh, the men's are all sold out, so that is very good. Um, next, I'll show you this, is vintage baby monitors. Um, Tommy, is it Tommy or Tom? Tommy? Tommy. Um, these were, £3.95 back in April from a charity shop and they sold for £14.24. We originally had them up for £18.99 um, but we put a 25% off promotion on there to get them gone. Um, so that's uh, space in our electrical tub. And what else have we got? Little baby bundle. So when I bought baby items from, like, from auctions before, uh, sometimes like little bits and bobs that I call fodder um, if anyone that knows, well, watches us regularly knows I call it fodder. So these are just items that were too cheap to sell individually, just not really worth it. But I put them in a bundle. Um, and this one sold for, I think I've gone too far at my list. I have um, baby gift bundle, Tommy Tippy flippy cup, bottle handles, teething mittens. Um, and a toy cost six fifty eight, which is quite a lot. But there was items in the bundle that um, we made our money on and profit, obviously. I uh, originally had this one up for nineteen ninety nine as well. Put it on a twenty five percent off promotion, and it sold for fourteen ninety nine. I only listed them in, in July, but 
it's not it's a bit of a weird bundle um but i'm glad it's sold that way what i'll do is or what i do when i sell bundles like that small ones i take pictures of each individual item and then i go onto canva because i've got a premium um, account on there and i import my pictures and create just like a um a shot of them all in the in the same so that's my image for ebay my main image um and then obviously all on a white background because you can you can cut out onto a white background on canva um but i tend to do it before in photo room on my phone and then drag them cut out into canva and sort of lay them out on a thousand by thousand pixels white square and then all the other images on my listing are just the individual shots then of the items and it seems to work really well so that's good um, we have got some pants. These are Itsy Bitsy uh, Dream Bikini Pants, size medium, pack of six. These are Costco stock. I've seen them in there myself. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know how much they are in there actually, and I must check. Um, I don't know how much I paid for these. Wouldn't be more than a couple of quid. I still haven't finished listing stuff from the bundle because these were only listed in August. Um, so these sold for £13.87, that sounds like an offer. Um, oh, that's very breakable, I'll do this one next. So Thomas the Tank Engine mug, I think Simon picked this up in a charity shop. Uh, it's only small, it's a Wedgwood Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends mug, made in England. Cost £2.75 in March, had it up for £12.99 originally. Put it on 25% off promotion and that sold at 10.79. So nothing special. <laughs> this one was a cause for celebration in our house because ages and ages and ages ago we bought a Denby Chevron crockery set. I can't remember where, um, how much we paid, but I did a variation listing and it was pretty bad. It was bad, like really bad variation listing. And we have four saucers left and someone's bought them all. Woohoo! Um, I don't even know how much it cost because back when I listed it, I don't, we didn't put any information in the SKU. So these sold for £21.72. What else? Some more pants, some Ralph Lauren boxer shorts. Uh, these are also ex Costco stock, I think. These cost £2.35. Um, had them since July. Had them up for 28.99 someone offered like 18 i was like nah and when they were for 20 i thought i'm going to take it because two pound 35 into 20 is fine by me i think they're going to belgium via gsp hats this one is a new era baseball cap new era 920 light blue denim uh, cost three pound 32 way back in january this was in a big hat bundle and it ended up reducing and reducing the price and it finally sold for eight pounds. I've actually not got that many hats left now um, and any bucket hats that we had, now that everyone's sort of done with festivals, we've sent to auction and baseball caps, the ones that haven't sold, we hang on to them really. There's a few that we've sent to auction but not many. Um, this one is an ASOS design snapback baseball cap, just plain black. This cost three thirty two in January, and again this was on a twenty five percent off promotion and sold at nine eighty nine. I've had them eight months. It's time for him to go. Uh, should I do some more breakables? Yeah, this is lovely. This is a candle. Smells lush. Um, it's. Escape to the Chateau, so the TV program. We sold two of these before, a pink one and a green one, went to the same person within a few days of buying them back at the start of summer or the end of spring. And I saw this in another charity shop. I paid £4.50 for it. It's um, Pretty Peony and it's the Chateau scented candle, Angel Strawbridge. Uh, if, you want, if you like feel good TV and you haven't seen it, uh, get it on catch up. It's channel four, Escape to the Chateau. Um, it's just lovely. I uh, originally had this up for 29 um, which the other two sold for, but this one didn't and it's very breakable so we just wanted to reduce the price to get it gone. Finally went for £17.33 and I think it's going to Canada. They've got a massive following in North America. Um, no, I'm lying, it's going to Germany. 
but they do have a massive following all around the world. It's very, very good TV. Pop that there. Um, let's see this one. It's a lighter, a vintage table lighter. It's like a glass base, so the, the lighter fluid just goes in there. That's the actual lighter, and then this is all decorative. And it had on the bottom, Roll Star Made in England, written on the bottom. I'll put that in there. And this one was in a job lot from an auction. And it sold for, well, it's a table lighter, and it sold for £14.24. It was just £2 back in July. Uh, I did put in the title, it's untested, so I have no idea if it works, but I don't think it's too. Uh, many working parts in that for it to not work so that was a nice little touch that was with some glass paperweights I got so yeah I didn't expect to get that um, a denim shirt this was cross-listed to Depop and Vinted but sold on eBay it's a what's the brand what's the brand David Howard um, size medium long sleeve cotton blend cost 6 52 in April and not sure why I picked it up. Couldn't really find much about David Howard on um, um, eBay, so I just picked it up, took a punt, had it up for six ninety nine, put it on twenty five percent off promotion. It sold for twelve seventy four. This was a good sale. Listed this yesterday. It sold today. I picked this up when I went shopping with Sophie um, last Tuesday. Um, I went shopping with shopping with Sophie because <laughs> that's what she's called. Um, it's Kettlewell, uh, large pink, purple animal print, long sleeve round neck stretch. And I always put in Kettlewell listings that I don't know the exact color, name, season, or whatever. Um, it's just pink and purple as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it cost five pound fifty last week and sold full price for twenty four ninety nine. champion t-shirt i think this is the last one black um thank goodness they have sold we really struggled cost 59p in december brand new um, without tags it's size large sold for eight pounds and nine p a christmas paperweight ornament thing this has been around quite a long time as well this was in a job lot of glassware that we picked up um, this one is a Crystal d'Arc's Poinsettia Christmas Paperweight from 1999. Lead Crystal. Um, I don't know how I went. Oh, yeah, it's got 1999 engraved on it. There you go. Um, this cost £3.6p in August last year. Put it on a 25% off promotion. Sold for 809 I think this had sold before and they hadn't paid or something. I'm sure that's been on auction a few times as well um sugar pot i mean that's a lot of sugar a lot of sugar goes in there um this one was in a job lot from an auction it's a sugar storage jar canister uh, with a chicken but farmhouse theme shabby chic cost 161 in march this year originally listed it for 9.99 sold for 750 not great um, but it was from a bundle that we did well out of, so all is good there. What else have we got? I'll do this. Mm. Please don't tell me that's broken. No, we're okay. Right, this is a brandy glass snifter Bohemia made in Czech Republic crystal bronze style stem so it's got bohemia glass on the sticker on the base there which says made in czech republic um, if you like these sort of glasses it is quite pretty uh, this was also in a job lot of paperweights randomly and um it cost a pound in august last year it sold for 6.99 Brazier, a Triumph Lovely Dots Bra 34 Double D. Again, auction purchase. That's where we get all our underwear from, different auctions. Um, 
I do like selling it. I find it easier to list. I much prefer selling stuff like this than like used clothing from charity shops. I just find that really monotonous. Whereas I can just list and list and list this sort of stuff all day. Um, cost one seventy six in March. Put it on a twenty five percent off promotion. It sold for eleven twenty four. Pays the bills. And when I list that sort of stuff, I can list it really really quickly. Uh, this is a sea salt top. I've had it with sea salt. Everyone says, oh, sea salt, large sizes, fly. Well, they don't for me. So I've had enough and I'm just accepting the offers. Uh, this one's a needlepoint top, size 20. It's got a leaf pattern on it. Cost $5.99 in July. And I think this is the one that's going to Canada. It's, it was originally out for $24.99. And like I said, I was just accepting offers. Um, America, sorry, someone offered in, from America £17.50, so that's where it's going, GSP. Um, these carry-on DVDs, these are like what you get, or used to get in newspapers. Simon bought a load of these from the auction really recently, and along with some phone cards, I showed you some phone cards that sold last week, and this lot here it's a carry-on film collection 13 different films these are from the uh, promotion in the sun and um, the dvds this whole bundle cost one pound 23 uh, listed this month and sold for 12 pound it's just easy easy peasy uh, i'll show you what i just dropped <sighs> luckily it survived it's a clinique item everyone it's eyeshadow um, if i can open it here we go, the little mirror, and this is, because I haven't sold any Clinique for a few days, so I was pleased about this one. It's Clinique Colour Surge Eyeshadow Trio, number 7, Ebb and Flow, 54p, listed it for 12.99, reduced the price a bit, and it sold for £11.49, so blimmin' excellent. It must be at nearly £500 for a £25 spend. And also sold this lipstick, Clinique. This one is Pop Lip Color Plus Primer. Uh, it's number 13 Love Pop, brand new, 54p. Had it off for 8.49 originally and reduced the price by 50p and it sold for 7.99. Pack of cards. This is in a game, like a big bundle of games that Simon got on from an auction. They're Primordial Master Finish Playing Cards, Costa Pantazes deck, New Sealed, number 286 out of 500, so they must be limited edition. Um, cost £1.55 in March, sold for £10. This is an Amazon sale. We ended up with loads of these books, either in a pickup from an auction of books, or at the start of lockdown one, we ordered 1,500 books, uh, used books, and they came on the back of a lorry on a pallet and were delivered in the middle of the high street. <laughs> um, we had to carry them in. Um, but we had quite a few of these. It was either, that's how we came by this, uh, one of those two ways. But there was um, loads of these identical books. It sold for like six or seven quid and it cost pence slowly selling though, but the rest of the books, we haven't got any left, um, did all right. Um, I'll show you some more breakables. Next up are these Hornsey figures, Simon, not Hornsey, Goble Hummel figures. Simon has done a video about these before. Um, they are, this one's called Latest News, Boy Newspaper, TMK3. And this one is Hummel Global Doctor figurine TMK5. This one's from 1972 to 1979 and is quite rare apparently. Um, there you go. He's done a video about them and he's, he picks them up quite often. Uh, the, this one cost 6 48 This one cost 11 35 And they were, one was listed January. This one was listed March. And... This one was on a 25% off promotion. This one was on a 20% promotion. And someone bought them both um, for £47.33. So that's good. So I need to pop them in there. Um, and just hope they don't break. 
Um, baby umbrella, so you know, like you put on a push chair um, to keep the sun out of their face. This was in a baby job lot. This sort of thrown a spanner in the works. So we've got to post all the stuff tomorrow, but it just means we have to courier this, so we have to go to somewhere else to drop it off. Uh, first steps, plain pram parasol, 16 inch. Cost 6.58, not great. Uh, listed for 9.99 and it sold for 8.99. Um, it was just too good to throw away or donate, so I just listed it. It's money back. And Clinique. This one is a True Bronze Pressed Powder Sun Kissed 54p. This one sold for 13 pound 49, which is excellent. And another Clinique here. This one is a Clinique all about shadow duo 14, strawberry fudge and bashful blush. This one sold for 11.49. So that is all the Clinique um, that's gone today. I haven't got that many left really. I'm so pleased with it. I couldn't be more pleased. And then this is going out. This is our best sale. This is a pelvic floor exercise trainer and app. This was in a bundle, or was it? No, I bought this on its own. Um, this, the, these are really expensive. It's cost £84.60 and it sold for £123.49. So there's a little bit of money in it. Um, but it's an LV pelvic floor exercise trainer and app, brand new and sealed, uh, listed it this month. And um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that one. Uh, so yeah, that is everything pretty sure it's going out today uh, or going out tomorrow rather because today's bank holiday so Simon's going to pack that now and then uh, while I've been doing this video he's turned all our listings onto four day dispatch so we can have a nice break taking the dogs with us dare say we might pop into a chather or two um, he whizzed down to our little sort of we've got like a local sort of shopping village attraction place near us uh, that we rent some shelf space in I've mentioned it before and Simon went down there today to do a quick stock of, well, restock of our stock. And so hopefully that'll do well coming up to quarter four. It always does well, um, apart from last year. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm just gonna see if I can get some listing done before tea, and then I'm going to get all our stuff together to go away. So gonna have a nice break, but when you watch this, I'll be back. I will be back on Friday, so don't turn this off because I'll be back in a minute, um, which will be Friday, showing you what's gone out while we've been away. Um, Hi everyone, I'm back on Friday. Today's Friday, I've had a few days off. I've been in Norfolk with Simon and the dogs for two nights, having a nice little break. Uh, well, I say break, we still went in a couple of chats <laughs> and picked a few bits um, up while we were away. Um, but we've had okay-ish sales um, we changed our dispatch time because obviously we were doing next day dispatch but we had to change that and uh, I think it's reflected um, in the sales because there's about 200 and hmm, about more well, just under 300 pounds worth of sales I did have a vintage sale uh, which I was really pleased about it wasn't March but I went to pick it today and it cancelled so don't know what's going on there um, never mind. Um, I don't rely on Vinted at all, so I can deal with that. Um, but yeah, we've got 20 things going out. Um, a few breakables, a few pants and Clinique. So yeah, it was an interesting sort of selection that sold while we've been away. Uh, we didn't send out, I don't think we sent out offers while we were away, because uh, it was supposed to be like a, a work-free break. Um, just had a bit of a tough summer so it was nice to get away and uh, the plan was to go to the beach and we couldn't go to the beach because Luna had her foot operation three weeks ago and she's had to have a boot on while we've been away so we weren't allowed to get it wet we weren't allowed to go on the beach but actually it didn't matter because the weather was not beach weather um so we just sort of um mooched around Chroma and some other places and we lucked out because where we stayed was just a little B&B somewhere and we had a pool table in our room, a full-size pool table, just for us. 
Uh, didn't know that was going to happen. Um, didn't see it coming. So both evenings after a nice meal out, um, we came back and played pool. And I was terrible. Uh, I blame it on being so tired. But um, yeah, it was a good break. And now I'm home and the sun's out. So I'm going to show you now what we got. Oh no, I'm not going to show you what we got. That's the haul video. This is a sales video. I'm going to show you what we've sold. Um, got some underwear. And I'm glad this one sold because it's taking up a lot of room. It's a Jezebel bra, and I can tell you, oh, I've got on the wrong screen. Da -da, come on, Jezebel bra. This costs two pounds. It's a contour cup seamless bra. There's two of them in here actually, brand new with tags. Um, I think this is more ex Costco stock, and um, sold for fifteen pounds. Um, it's taking up a lot of room in our bra tub, so glad that's gone. Um, we also sold some sloggy pants in a better box, possibly again Costco stuff. I'm not 100% sure if they sell sloggy at Costco, but it was um, in with the same sort of stuff uh, that I picked up from an auction. And these were £4.23, uh, which is quite high cost price really a uh, pack of four size 20 sold for 16 pounds um also this is an underwear item it's a like a maxi slip dress you wear it under your dress like old school petticoat style i suppose uh, the brand is commando which is expensive this actually has selfridges tags on it um it's a maxi slip small medium cost two pound 35 and it sold for £50, so very good sale there. Um, this one was 10p uh, back at the start of the summer when I picked up a load of stuff from Boots to resell. Um, a lot of people saw our haul on Instagram. I didn't do a haul on um, YouTube because we just listed it straight away and got it into Amazon. Well, the stuff that could sell on Amazon, we got it in there as quickly as possible. Um, so there were some other bits we sold on eBay, which you've seen in sales videos, and this was one of them. It was 10p, so I thought, oh, what's to lose? Um, it sold for £4.65, but look how thin it is. It just goes in an envelope, so that's fine. They are sh um, mermaid scale transfers. Good for festivals and stuff, I suppose. Uh, I sold a hat, a very niche hat. This is a um, knitted beanie hat, and it's Ramsgate Music Hall. So you get, like I said, very niche if you are into, if you like Ramsgate Music Hall or if you've been there and loved it. Uh, got another bra, this is an ex Costco bra, this is an auction pickup. Gloria Vanderbilt Seamless Wire Free Bra, one of them. They do normally come in boxes as a pair, but I had um, loose ones. Uh, this cost £2, sold for £9.99. Um, a pair of pants, a pair of brand new tags. Um, panache knickers and these are envy briefs size 14 and they cost four pounds 23 uh, in july all of this is recently listed apart from that ramsgate hat that's been around a while um so i've lost my touch haven't i i forgot how i do it um i've only been away two days uh originally had these up for 16.99 and uh, kept reducing the price sold to 11.91 and another pair of pants. These ones are uh, Body Bamboo Eco Wear Full Briefs, extra large. Again, these cost four twenty three. Put these on a promotion. They sold for eleven twenty four. Had them since July. Just trying to clear out a lot of stock, really. Um, now I don't know if this is an oximeter or an oximeter, but it tests your oxygen levels. A lot of people have had these um, for the pandemic, testing their oxygen levels. Uh, we had two of these. These were both in auction pickups. And they're quite expensive actually, because the stuff we wanted in the auction bags, these are fodder items. Um, these cost £6.58. Had it since July, sold for £10. I couldn't really sell them for any more because there's so many on eBay um, around that price. Uh, <laughs> Now we have these terrariums listed, but we didn't have terrarium in the title. And Renee 
um, who's a watcher, message us and said put terrarium in your title. So we did, and one sold straight away. And then we sold one today, and for some reason, we haven't got the one they've bought. So we're not really sure what's going on, but we've got two left in this shape. So we messaged them to say, do you want both of them? Really sorry, you haven't got the one you wanted. Got these, you can have both um, for the same price. So, so she's basically getting one free, or they're getting one free. Um, they cost pence, I'm sure of it, 95p. Um, but we've had them since May last year, and they this one sold for 4 99 so not going to set the world on fire with that. Um, these are, next ones, these vintage glass items are hideous. I mean, they're so bright. Look at the colour on those, like little vases. They're antique, two of them. They're from uh, the Czech. Uh, from the 1920s, enamelled black with female worker on both. There we go, Bohemian. Cost £2.76 in June, sold for £14.24. Uh, they have got light sort of little sort of, um, I don't know if it's a chip or if it's just the paint on the rim, but yeah, um, I didn't buy them. Um, again, they were fodder items in an auction pickup. They came with a load of paperweights that I wanted, so I'm fine seeing them gone. Um, sort of paperweight, which is also a ring holder. So it goes on like your dressing table, or your bedside table, and you can put like rings on it. Uh, so you always know where they are. This one's got a rose in it. It's nothing special. Um, um, just sort of mass produced um, gift shop item. And it costs £2.87 in this month, actually. And it sold for £15.99. Uh, but that came again with loads of um, paperweights that I wanted. And we sold a vase that also came with paperweights. It's pink om ombre, ombre, cased glass. It's possibly Scandinavian. I wasn't 100% sure. Um, it's 29 centimetres tall. It doesn't have a maker's mark. Uh, it cost £2 and sold for 12 It's got some sort of light damage to the outside. But the person that um, offered the money or offered on it and I accepted was very thankful and said they've been admiring it for ages. So it is a very pretty colour. Um, and then we've got, we have got a Clinique mascara. So I picked all the Clinique up from a garage sale, paid 54p per item. Not got much left at all. Um, sold this high impact mascara. It's like a seven mil size, so bigger than the other ones I sold. I had the, the, the smaller size that I was selling in threes and fours. This is a full size one. So this cost 54p. I originally had it up for 14.99, sold for 13.49, because I reduced the price. Um, got a Clinique Quick Eyes Cream Eyeshadow, Rock Violet. This is travel size. This was 54p as well, had it up for 9.99, sold for 8.49. And we've got this Clinique Color Surge Eyeshadow Duo. Uh, like Mink is the color, it comes with an applicator brush. This cost 54p, had it up for 12.99, sold for 11.49. And I'm gonna do a, um, a post or on Instagram or something maybe on here. Um, of sort of what, how much uh, we made on that Clinique bundle because it was so good, or oh, it still is so good. And then I also sold Vera for Clinique, Vera Wang, I think, all about eyeshadow duo 11 nightcap and a glow. Um, and okay, and I've actually bought two of them, so they were 54p each. I put a multi buy offer on these. So they could save up to 20% off if they bought more than one. And these two sold for £33.28 in total. So, I mean, I paid £25 for all the Clinique makeup. Um, and then, finally, um, we have these phone cards. So Simon bought a massive job lot of phone cards um, from an auction. They're old BT phone cards. And he's got a cost price of 40 p per banded bundle so he bundled a load up he hasn't even gone through half of them yet um so 
he predicted they cost 40p when actually he's realized that they're a lot less um so someone was sending us offers yesterday and we took two counted one they accepted so let me just get this one right so bt phone card 10 of them unused 100 units um although they're unused you can't use them anymore um because these are like from the 80s and 90s um but he's like sort of aiming at people who need them for like tv props or collectors and there are collectors. So we had them up for 4 99 Remember they cost less than 40p. They also someone offered four pounds, so we took it. Then they, which one is it? 20 units, 20 units. BT phone card, 10 of them, unused, 20 units. And these are up for 4 99 They offered four, on, um, but they wanted two packs. So we're like, yep, yeah, no problem, accepted that offer. And then they also wanted these ones. These are um, 40 units, 10 of them in each pack again. They off there's two, there were two available. We had them up for 4 99 They offered four pound um, per pack, uh, less than 40p again. So they paid for all of these 16, 20 pound, 20 pound, easy sale. So that was brilliant. That was in the car on the way home from Norfolk yesterday. So. Yeah, that is everything going out. So we are, um, well, we have changed our dispatch time back to next day, which is hopefully going to improve sales um, today and over the weekend. And just got a list, list, list this weekend. That is the the, the plan. Um, obviously, we've got a few bits that we picked up when we were away to do. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got stock. We don't need to source. We've got loads of stock, so we just need to get it all listed. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, um, give the video a thumbs up and I will see you next week for more sales. Have a great weekend.